only my opinion. Coffee milk. Wanting people, um, welcome to the show. This is Coffee Milk. My name is Cleon. Welcome. Did I say that already? Did I say? Did I say welcome to the show? Well, still welcome. The word that stood out to me a lot was unity. Where we as a country and our current president is trying to get this country to unify, which uh, sort of means to, 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 to become one, right? Two individuals or two separate ideas come in under one umbrella and somehow finding a way to kumbaya and make it work. That's what we've been talking about. That's not gonna happen. That's impossible. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. We're not gonna have a kumbaya moment. We're not gonna unify as a country. I know this is called the United States of America, but right now it is impossible to unify. If you have one party that's so far right that they can't even see or understand or comprehend real life. There's one party that takes in real life and then filter it through their fucking fantasy meth head world and then it comes out QAnon and fake election and bullshit. They make shit up feed it to each other, re-fucking-gurgitate it, and then spit it out as if it is facts. How can you unite with a party that does that? Huh? Like, it, it, I, I don't understand. How do, you, how do you unite with something, with an entity, that is not tuned into our reality? That is living in their own made-up world. They created a whole fucking world for themselves where they just regurgitate these informations and then all of a sudden it becomes true in their world and then they try to get us to see what they have imagined and be like, hey guys, this real thing is happening when it's impossible to fucking even imagine or fathom whatever fantasy bullshit they've made up in their brains. We can't unite. We have to call it what it is. Those people are broken, they're mentally not there, they're mentally not sound. We have a bunch of mentally inept human beings leading this country. That's what it is. It's either they're stupid or they're willing participants in the falsehood that they're sharing. It's one of those. It's one of those. So, as much as I would love to think that, oh man, we are gonna unite as one United States of America. That's not gonna happen because we are not talking about a party that is living in reality. We're talking about a party that's living in a fucking Harry Potter fucking book. So Charlotte Buff is a dick. His ex-girlfriend, FKA Twigs is her name. She's accusing Shia LaBeouf of abusing her. Uh, she said that Shia LaBeouf did not approve of her uh, looking in the eye of men. She said that Shia LaBeouf didn't approve of being nice to men that he would get control in and think that she's cheating on him because she's being nice to men. Shia LaBeouf seems like a fucking dick. And this is coming from a person that's always championed Shia LaBeouf. Even when he was going through his, his whole fucking phase after Transformers where, you know, he was doing all kinds of dumb shit. But this is, this is unexcusable. You can't abuse women and fucking not face consequences for it and it doesn't and that that doesn't mean we shun him forever it just means he needs to fucking get help you can't
can't choke a woman and think that everything's fine with you. You can't try to manipulate the way another human thinks and just continue on with your life. There needs to be fucking consequences. So, it sucks that Shia LaBeouf is now on my shit list of human beings. So is Jackie Chan, by the way. Jackie Chan's Jackie Chan also on my shit list. Used to love him. Was a childhood hero. All his movies. Loved it. Him as a human, as he is right now. Fuck Jackie Chan. That's a sidebar. Back to Shia LaBeouf. Dick. Get some fucking help. Stop putting your hands on women. Women. Learn to fucking deal with whatever... Whatever villains, whatever fucking uh, 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 monsters that ha uh, 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 that 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 sort of has transformed you into the fucking horrible human being that you are right now. So, guys, Kellyanne Conway, speaking of dicks, sent supposedly uh, leaked a topless photo of her child on the internet as a get back, I assume. Uh, she's been, she and her, her daughter have been in the news for a couple of weeks. I was gonna talk about them last week because uh, her daughter, she is putting her mom out there, uh, you know, calling her mom out for uh, abuse. I believe that's what she, she was doing. She was calling her mom out for abuse originally. Um, because her mom verbally abused her and physically abused her. And then now, her mom is fucking <laughs> putting out, I'm sorry for laughing, uh, but it's just it's just ridiculous in my mind to think that, you know, someone's mom would soil their child's reputation by putting out a topless photo. Like, that just means mentally, Kellyanne Conway is a fucking child. If your solution for not being able to control your child's behavior, if, if that solution is to then put a topless picture of, of, of said child on the internet because you can't control them, you're a fucking terrible human being. We, we, we already know that about Kelly and Conway clearly because who she represented for the last four years. But this is like another level of just assholery. This young lady, you're supposed to be the guide of this young lady. Like, you're supposed to be the person in this entire world, the only person in this world that she can count on no matter what anyone else does to her, no matter what the world throws at her, you're supposed to be the person that she's supposed to be able to go to in time of need supposed to be her respite but because you're frustrated because you don't have the patience because you don't know how to fucking communicate you decide to put a fucking picture of her on the internet ah man yo it makes sense that we are where we are right now because a lot of the people that we expect to be smart uh, individuals are just goddamn babies that have just been fucking spoon fed their entire life and they just happen to get a fucking position that gives them power over the fucking masses. But they don't have the capacity to actually do the job. They just fucking look the part. Kelly and Conway is that person. Alright, quick hate. Uh, Busset Challenge is fucking stupid. I said it. Yep. Straight male. I'm saying it. Busset Challenge is dumb. It is fucking... It's a, It's just like, how is it a challenge? The, wh why is it called a challenge? Busset Challenge. What is the fucking point? Wh I don't get it. So you shake your... So you look raggedy and then you, you look hot and you shake your... I, I don't fucking get it! I feel like it... I feel like an alien sometimes because I don't get it. I don't get the point of stuff sometimes. 
I always feel like there needs to be a point for things. I don't get the point of the bus it challenge. The bus it challenge is stupid. I'm sorry, it's stupid. Azalea Banks, my friends, Azalea Banks, Azalea Banks, Azalea Banks, Azalea Banks. Yo, Azalea Banks has been having a really tough couple of weeks. Man, uh, from the cat situation to her exclaiming to uh, Megan the Stallion and Doja Cat that they are fat cows, to this week her seeming to exclaim that she doesn't want to be here anymore. She doesn't want to be on this planet. She doesn't want to do this anymore. Uh, I feel for her. I feel, man, I, like she just, she, she seems to be a very hurt human being. And she goes about things in a sort of attention seeking way. doesn't necessarily always pan out to the way she wants it to. I think this quarantine is doing a lot of stuff to people's mental space. You know, I know for me, it's fucking, and I'm a loner, but the option to interact with humans is not there. And as all loners know, yeah, being alone is where, you, where you're the most comfortable, but you want that option to be able to interact with humans. So I think that has added to her mental space, but, you know, in this time, especially when you're feeling that you no longer want to be here, the only really remedy for that are friends and loved ones. It doesn't seem like she she has that, or maybe she doesn't feel like she she has that, and that sucks. That's super sad. I don't. I never want that feeling for anyone. I want people to feel, and I want people to have the opportunity to be able to talk to somebody else or whatever if they're feeling that way. But I don't know. Man. During this week, I had I, I had a lot more to say about Azalea Banks situation. But I just have empathy for her. I just have empathy for her, man. That's it. I feel and I wish that I could help in some in some way. But suicidal thoughts is a battle that an individual has to take on. Not completely by themselves. But the people that can help remedy that are, are their loved ones. And not even completely. Sometimes when a person has decided that this is what they want to do, this is that's what they want to do. There's nothing you can you or me or anybody can do to, to, to change that. So I would urge her friends and people who say they care about her and actually do care about her to spend more time with her in a social distancing way or calling, texting. It's just those simple stuff sometimes they help. The simple texting and all that that helps sometimes. So every, you know every little counts. So yeah, I don't know. I don't have any much I, I don't have much to say on the situation. So Kyle Rittenhouse is free as fuck, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you know that by now. He's the 18-year-old who murdered some Black Lives Matter protesters after uh, Jacob Blake was shot by uh, Wisconsin cops, police officers, or whatever the fuck you want to call those assholes. And um, he's out. 
and uh, while being out some of the things that he weren't supposed to do was, I don't know, hang out with other white supremacists. And uh, he did. He hung out with a bunch of white supremacists at a bar, threw up the okay sign, which they just now took as a racist sign, so okay is now. They always take lame shit and try to make it cool and just make it lamer. The okay sign was not cool. It never is cool, whatever, anyways. The reason why I'm talking about this asshole, I try very hard not to talk about assholes like this fuck face, uh, is because even though he broke the rules while he got out of jail, he hung out with a bunch of white supremacists in a bar and threw up the okay sign and took a bunch of fucking pictures with him. He wasn't supposed to do that. What is your punishment, huh? What is your punishment when you usually break the rules? If, you're, if, if, you're in, if you were in jail and you got let out of jail, what should be your punishment if you go against the rules, the outline that they gave you for when you go out into public? Hmm, if they say don't hang out with white supremacists and you hang out with white supremacists, isn't that breaking the rule? What should happen? My, in my personal opinion, you should go back to jail. Not when you're white though. Not when you're white. When you're white, you're always right. You might not agree his cool, um, one of a kind. Don't move forward, so I gotta be progressive. Gotta make sure everything I say is selective. It's only my opinion. Coffee milk.